Shut up, I'm doing a video. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Here we go with another huge fly fisherman video. This one is about fly fishing slang, lingo, terminology, vernacular, jargon, euphemisms, and whatnot. So here we go, fly fishing slang episode one. I'm gonna open this beer. Disclaimer, some of you might get offended by this video and feel like I'm making fun of you. Well, that's cause I am, but don't feel bad about it. I make fun of everyone, even myself. I'm so humble. Maybe you've heard a lot of terms and lingo that you don't understand. I'm gonna explain some terms for you and tell you what you can and cannot say while talking about fly fishing. In case you didn't know, I make all the rules. We're gonna learn a lot today. Let's start off with some things you can't say. Number one on my list, butter. Oh, let's get some buttery browns, dude. Oh, just a slab of butter. It's a brown trout, it's not butter. Why can't you say that? Well, it's just kind of played out. Yeah, it makes sense, but I'm just tired of it. It's old, it's something a boomer would say. Okay, got that? No more butter. Another thing you can't say is cutties. Yes, I've talked about this before. Why not? Why can't you say cutties? I don't know. A long time ago, somebody said it sounds stupid and I agree with them. So now it's an official rule. You cannot say cutties when you're talking about cutthroats. Only acceptable terms are cuts and cutthroats. Got it? While we're on the subject, let's talk about approved names for fish. Rainbow trout, you can call them bows or rainblows. That's it. No bobos, no bowies. Rainblows is okay. Okay, how about brook trout? You can call them brook char, specks, speckled trout, or brookies. Yes, brookies is okay. Why brookies and not cutties? I don't know, because I said so, that's why. End of discussion. And what about brown trout? You call them browns, that's it. No brownies, no German browns, just browns. That's the only thing you can call them. Can you call a brown a Leroy? Absolutely not. Quick side note, any trout can be called a troot. That way people will know you're cool. Okay, well what about some other fish? What do you call redfish? Red drum, channel bass, spot tails, grass bass, that's all acceptable. And what about tarpon? You can't say poon or the silver launch dragons or whatever it was. Sabalo is okay. You know what okay in Spanish is? Okay. Oh, and by the way, these are called gamakatsu hooks, not gamagatsu. Get it right. You doing yoga up there. <laughs> okay, let's move on to some definitions. What is farming a hook set? Basically, it's just blowing it on a hook set. The origins of this term is one of the greatest mysteries in fly fishing. No one knows where it comes from. Messing up a hook set can mean a lot of different things. You set the hook too hard, too soft, too fast, too slow. Maybe you trout set on a bonefish. Maybe you strip set a dry fly. Maybe you did the halfway hook set. Pro tip, either set the hook or don't. None of this halfway stuff. Not like this. Anyway, don't farm your hook sets. Let's talk about some words in tarpon fishing that you may have heard and you're not sure what they mean. Why tarpon fishing? I don't know, just cut. I know everything there is to know about tarpon. No, I don't. Most people are terrible at tarpon fishing, myself included. So we need to define all the little tiny victories to make us feel better about ourselves. Starting with a lean. Oh, we got three leans today. What's a lean? A lean just means the fish looked at your fly and maybe moved a little bit. You got a reaction. Then after a lean, you might get an eat. And this goes for all fishing, not just tarpon fishing. You get trout eats too. An eat is when the fish eats your fly. You might hear someone talking about tarpon fishing and say they jumped some fish. What does that mean? That's when you get an eat, you set the hook, and the fish jumps and gets off for whatever reason. Happens all the time. You might hear someone say we leadered a fish. That's when you've played a fish to the boat and somebody actually actually grabbed or touched the leader. That's technically a caught fish, if you wanna get technical. Now there's also grabbing face. That's when you've leadered the fish and landed it and you wanna grab it by its face so you can get the hero shot. You know, something for mom. Think that's gonna wrap it up. Should we be done? Are we done? Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. I hope you learned a little bit about fly fishing slang and terminology. Now you can sound like you know what you're talking about and you can fool everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be on the lookout for episode two of fly fishing slang. Coming soon to a YouTube YouTube near you from my living room. Go check out my website, hugeflyfisherman.com. We'll see you next Monday and stay huge. It goes so much smoother after I've had like five beers. You're doing much better. Right?